Welcome back. Let's jump into more history. So this is why wasn't the British Empire ruled brought by a British emperor? So yeah, I guess it's kind of just, I, I kind of saw the video and they did have this huge, they're, they're an empire. Um, they own so much of the, the world's population and land at one point. Um, and I just kind of, kind of popped up, kind of curious and uh, figured, why didn't they? Why why they stick with just you know the monarchy? They didn't go full on Napoleon on this one. And um, yeah, this is a quicker video by History Matters. It's good. It kind of kind of just goes straight to the point. Hits you with a lot of information. I'm sure I'll, I'll have lots of questions afterwards. But uh, we'll, we'll hit that when we uh, when we cross that road. So here we go. Why hasn't the British Empire ruled, or why wasn't it ruled by a British emperor? Or so. Let's see. Imagine a British emperor. How strange does that sound nowadays? But uh, yeah, I see the Roman Empire right now. So let's see how this starts off. I'm assuming it's a Roman Empire. It's a Roman Empire. Because they cut off right there. Hadrian's Wall. Cool. All right. I got sidetracked sidetra side there. So my, my inner history just threw me for a loop. Let's go. Empire. They normally take the title Ooh, emperor. Or that's emperor. quiet. Wait, 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 wait. When wait, someone wait. rules an empire, they normally take the title emperor or empress. Yet, despite having a pretty chunky empire, the British monarchs yeah. were never styled as the British emperor or empress. Which raises the question, why? Why wasn't the British empire ruled over by a British emperor? Now, it's important to note that most emperors didn't simply convert their title from that of a king. Many had adopted it on top of their previous titles, and others did so after major change in government. Furthermore, it often claims okay. to be the continuation of a previous imperial title. Britain never had any of this, and so there was no pretext to change the royal title when their role and the type of government that they led was the same as always. Makes In sense. fact, when there was a major change by the monarch, that of Henry VIII declaring England's separation from the Catholic Church, it was written into law that England was effectively from that point onwards an empire, and that Henry and all of his successors would carry the rights and status of emperors, but would simply use the title of king instead. Another reason was somewhat more particular to Britain. You see, after the 17th century, the British developed an extreme allergic reaction There's to Napoleon. absolute monarchy in a title like Emperor Screams, I'm a king of kings and thus in charge and won't be sharing much power with anyone. Yeah, that that, that, that seems pretty true. And uh, I mean, it seems like I, I just watched the two part series of, uh, I forget the channel, but they just went through Napoleon, the Napoleonic Wars, and it was animated like this as well. I'm, I'm blanking on it, but yeah, just being an emperor, it kind of seems like this is this is the thing. You're a king among ab above kings uh, or among kings. Um, you're kind of like a god and uh, kind of kind of not like a very inviting thing. Like, uh, hey, let's all work together. We're strong. Let's work together. No, it's kind of just like that's he's gonna take over there. That country's gonna take over, and this emperor's gonna rule over you and all the people. I don't know. It's just kind of more aggressive, I guess which to Parliament was a no-no. Another reason was that Britain itself wasn't seen as being some multi-ethnic empire in the same way as Austria-Hungary was. But in the eyes of its rulers, Britain was a nation of nations who were all equal. Theoretically, at least. In practice, not so much. This is one of the reasons why George III, when offered the title of British Emperor in 1801, refused it. And another was because he was an elector of the Holy Roman Empire at this point. And so an emperor electing another emperor whom he would hold some allegiance to was just a bit silly. That, this wasn't the yeah, last time that the topic of imperial titles would come up. You see, as of the 1870s, there were a lot of emperors in Europe, and the title of emperor outranks that of king or queen, which upset Britain's Queen Victoria, who didn't want to be seen as everyone's inferior. At this point, a monarch adopting an imperial title with respect to Britain was unacceptable, and so the sitting Prime Minister, Benjamin Disraeli, offered to give a different imperial title, that of Empress of India. The reason why this was okay was that, one, India was the crown jewel of the empire, and the one which Britain was most proud of. Two, it was made up of many right. smaller kingdoms and principalities and so the title could maintain the implication that it meant King of Kings. And three, India and its people weren't seen as being equal to those of Britain, and so absolute rule over them was just fine. But why not extend it to the rest of the empire? Well, much like Britain, places like Canada and Australia had the same anti-authoritarian position. And as for the rest of the empire, well, it wasn't seen as being prestigious enough to warrant the title of emperor. There was still opposition to the title from many liberal politicians, but it was brought into force in 1876. And Victoria's successors would all thereafter be Empress of India until its independence in 1947. Which is why Britain and the British Empire mm. didn't have an emperor, but only one part of it, India, did, and for just over 70 years. I hope you That's enjoyed pretty long, this actually. For Thank 70 for years, they had an emperor in, uh, in India. 
Yeah, that that's pretty wild. I another another thing that I just had no idea about. There is a emperor, but that I guess that makes sense. Um, these videos I know could go for months of you learning about these topics or years to start grasping these topics of the the empire but kind of makes sense i feel like i don't know i'm probably wrong with this but it was never very overly important that at the time um emperor you know always is above king and queen and you know they said like queen victoria might have not really been thrilled about it but i feel like it's just like they have so much more going on than trying to become an emperor and What's that going to bring you and your empire? It's everything. It's so old school over there. They probably just kept it, called it a day, and then all the emperors just started um, getting overthrown and broken up and all sorts of... It seems like a lot of bad things happen to emperors. Maybe it's just not a good thing in general. But um, yeah, let me know what you think. This was very short, but I liked it. Just one of those many things that pop up in my, uh, my feed. I'm like, huh, why didn't they? I mean, they totally could have, it seemed like, but they just didn't really have I don't know everything backing it that they wanted to become like an emperor at the time but uh of, of their of the British Empire um, especially when you hear that the British Empire but it's just a king and queen I don't know it's weird it's interesting so looks like they definitely had an, a uh, big empire that they could have done that but let's see the comments short videos but good history matters as the channel there we go. Commonwealth realm. Wow. All right. The United Kingdom, when asked about not being the United Empire, we don't do that here. That's that's the top comment in this in this video right there. It, it kind of just seems like that it wasn't really overly important to them to go. They, they have, a, have a king, queen, a successful kind of like monarchy that's working out. It's, it has worked out well generally well oh wow here we go the title empress of india was victoria's secret all right all right it's pretty funny people could be pretty accurate and, and pretty funny in these comments let me know what you think uh this was pretty packed with information and you know you could go on for a long time thinking about this and uh anything more you could you could add like I feel like just the people in general would not accept i don't know maybe they would they'd be like oh yeah we have an, an emperor empress whatever it is at the time but um i feel like it just wouldn't have worked worked out even though it's just kind of a title it seems like i don't i don't have too much knowledge of if you go from king and queen to emperor all of a sudden what's quite the difference it, it just seems like it's more of just the title and um feeling good about yourself and your kingdom and uh yeah just reminds me of napoleon every time i think of that so napoleon or so like the japanese stuff stuff like that i think of like you know emperors so until next time thanks for joining and have a good rest of your day